Squidgy glasses are fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, that's better. Why didn't I think of that earlier? some brand new songs tonight, so I won't be very good at them, but uh, <clears throat> I seem to remember we all get on quite well in this room, so I've got to try them out somewhere first, and uh, you'll do, but well, that's all right. I came from Southampton on the train today. There's this couple, maybe in the mid-50s, uh, guy was like, an old hippie with curly hair and the woman was quite good looking but in a very strange way and they were sitting behind me and they're going, the guy says, what's these holes in the ceiling? So the woman says, I don't know. So he goes, oh, yeah. He says, excuse me mate, yeah? He says, what's these holes in the ceiling? So I said, they're reading lights. So I said, ah, oh. so why aren't they on? I said, well, I've got a little switch, so uh, if you want to read. He said, I don't want to read. I said, well, but if you did, you could put the little switch on. Said, ah, well, there's, there's people reading, but they haven't got the little lights on. So I, went, oh, I don't know what to say. You know? I, I don't know these people. So I went on and on and on like this about everything on the fucking train. You kind of think. Possibly this is their first train journey, it's a, a cross-country train, but they're quite elaborate by train standards, so... Then he gets up and he's looking round and he says, uh, excuse me, it says uh, that our seats are not reserved, that means we can sit in them, yeah? So, yeah, that's right. He says, this one says it's available to Coventry. What does that mean? <laughs> he said, it means that, that Coventry, someone's going to get on the train, who will expect to sit there because they've reserved that seat. I'm not making this up, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, he goes, he says, what, what would happen if uh, I was sitting in that seat then? I, I just started to lose my cool this time. <laughs> But not in a showing away. So I said, well, I'll probably get on the train, see you, and say, oi, twat, get out of my fucking seat. <laughs> God goes, are they going to be a rude person? <laughs> I said, I don't know the person that's getting on at Coventry, pal. It's just a surmise. I just don't... So he says to the woman, did you hear that? She says, well, wait and see what sort of person it is. Man. So they're sitting really tense. Banbury, Lemington, Spa. Eventually this woman gets on and sits in the seat. He says to me, hey, excuse me, what? He said, you said it would be a man. So I didn't say anything of the sort. Well, the way you made it sound, you sounded like it'd be a cross man. But yeah, but it's a woman and you're not sitting in, it might be a very cross woman, but you weren't sitting in a seat, so we'll never know. So he goes, oh yes, what do you mean, yeah. It's a woman. She's like, oh, I can see it's a woman. So then we get to fucking Manchester Piccadilly. The woman starts freaking out as to whether or not it's going to be Piccadilly. She says, oh, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's Piccadilly. Ah, oh, because look, on the... On the tickets it says, Manchester Stations. It could be another station. So she says, excuse me, is, it, is this going to be Manchester Piccadilly? So I said, yeah, it is. So she says, it's, but it just says on the tickets, Manchester Stations. So I said, yeah, that's because the ticket doesn't give a fuck which station they're going to. <laughs> it just is going to Manchester. So, but you think it will be Manchester Piccadilly? So I said, I know it will. The guy says, how do you know that? He said, because I've been on this journey before. And anyway, it's the end of the line. So the guy goes, yeah, but not literally the end of the line. So I went, no, it is literally the end of the line. The train can't go any further. It's Manchester Piccadilly. So he goes, ah. Oh. So then you get up and says, well, ask someone sensible. 
The guy says, but if we get off the train, it might go away without us and then we won't be at Manchester Piccadilly. So it is Manchester Piccadilly. I'm getting off at Manchester Piccadilly and I'm, I'm getting off, okay? Everyone's getting off. So the guy's, oh, okay, okay. Look, look at each other like, he's fucking weird. <laughs> so then the stop, so I bang into them. The guy goes, look! So the woman goes, what? Someone's left a musical instrument. It's like a cello or a guitar in a case. So the woman goes, oh yeah, what should we do? Should we take it with us and hand it in? So I said, excuse me, it's my guitar. So I went, it's your guitar. Shouldn't you have it with you? So I said, no, no, I put it in the luggage track, you know. And uh, now I've got up. But the only reason I've not got it in my hand is you're in my way. No, yeah. ah, you should keep it with you. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that was the end. It's not a joke, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Piccadilly, yeah. Ancient women 
Oh, 